Hello everyone, in this video we will show 15 of the most important tools for every watch lover or novice watchmaker. So, let's start. Number 1, Loop. A loop is an important watch tool that everyone needs. A loop helps you see small details of a watch up close, and most importantly makes it easier to work on them. When working on a watch, you need a loop so you can handle all the small details and parts with the required precision. The most common loop type is a small and round loop that can be placed in the eye. Normally, watchmakers also add a headband in order to keep the watch steady at the eye and to be able to work with both hands free. Different loops have different magnifications. 10x is common, but for smaller parts and details, an even more magnifying loop may be necessary. Number 2. Screwdrivers. Screwdrivers are probably the most important tool when working with watches. Most aspects require screwdrivers, so make sure you have the necessary ones. You will need screwdrivers of different sizes so you can work on different watches and screws. There are screwdrivers of all qualities, but we would advise not to choose the cheapest ones. The issue with these is that the top tends to change shape and can also risk breaking. These lower quality screwdrivers will ultimately increase the risk of slipping and potentially damaging the watch. A good tip is to buy a set of screwdrivers. This will give you a wide variety of screwdrivers of the most common sizes you may need. It can also come in handy to buy screwdrivers with interchangeable tips. But again, if you buy low quality screwdrivers, there's not much point in buying ones that are replaceable as the screwdrivers themselves may break as well. Number 3. Tweezers. Tweezers are necessary for many different tasks when working on a watch, including removing or moving watch parts. There are many different tweezers to choose from. Cheaper ones have a greater risk of damaging and scratching the movement or watch, so it may be worth investing in a better one here. A tip is also to buy anti-magnetic tweezers so they don't magnetize the watch you are working with. We recommend tweezers from the brands, Virgin, Dumont, Horatec and Boley. Number 4. Case Back Openers. A case back opener is necessary to access the watch and its parts. Most watches either have a screw down case back or a pop down case back. To get access to the movement, you need to remove the case back. Since there are two common case backs, it is advised to have the tools for both. The most simple and easy to use case back opener is a rubber ball with which you simply apply pressure against the case back and then unscrew it. There are also other more advanced tools for doing this. For pop down case backs, you need to pop open the back. These are slightly more difficult to work with as it means you have to bend open the back. In doing this, it is important that you are careful so you are not damaging the case back. There are several different case back knives you can use to remove the back. Be careful, and don't bend harder than necessary. Number 5. Ultrasonic Cleaner. An ultrasonic cleaner is something all watch enthusiasts should have in their possession. Not only people who work with watches professionally. Ultrasonic cleaning is the most effective way to clean a watch, primarily the bracelet. We recommend the use of Elma machines and ultrasonic cleaners. Number 6. Spring Bar Tool. A spring bar tool is a necessary tool for any watch enthusiast and watch owner. Spring bar tools are used to remove the spring bars of the watch, attached to the lugs, in order to remove the strap or bracelet. The spring bars are, as the name suggests, springs inside bars that are retractable when compressed. With a spring bar tool, you can easily access these spring bars and remove or insert them. We recommend the use Virgin 3153, Virgin 7767S and Virgin 7767F. Number 7. Time Grapher. With a time grapher, you check the performance and accuracy of a movement. This machine is really helpful for many different purposes. Not to mention in order to check if a watch is performing well or if it is in need of a service. But a time grapher is also helpful if you have just serviced a watch so you know if you have done a good job or if it needs to be adjusted or regulated. A time grapher gives information about the amplitude, the beat rate, and the beat error. Number 7. Movement Holder. A movement holder is a small but important little accessory that is really handy when working on a watch movement. 
The movement holder holds the movement safe and secure so it is easier to work on, but also keeps it protected as it may get damaged if you simply place it on a flat surface. We recommend the use Burgeon, Horatech and Boley holders. Number 8. Dust Blower. This is a simple yet convenient watch tool. A dust blower, as the name suggests, blows dust away. In the context of watches, it is mainly used for the dial, crystal, and the movement. You should use it before fitting the crystal so you don't have any dust on the dial. You can use Burgeon 5573 and Burgeon 4657. Number 9. Oil and Lubricants. Oil and lubricants are used for lubricating the movement. Lubrication is crucial for a mechanical movement's proper functioning, and it reduces the friction of parts that are subject to a lot of friction. Moe Bias oils are the best in the watch industry. Number 10. Tools for removing the watch hands. When working on a watch, you need to remove the hands. You need to remove the hands in order to remove the dial of the watch. And to remove the hands, you need a special hand removal tool. This type of tool helps you remove the hands without damaging them or the dial. Number 11. Bracelet Pin Remover. One of the most necessary tools is the one for shortening bracelets. You can easy remove links from bracelets. Number 12. Lids Covers. Watch parts and dirt or dust are not best friends and should stay away from each other. To keep the watch parts protected and free from dust, invest in lids and covers where you can place them when you are not working on them. Number 13. Oil Cup. Every watchmaker should have a lubrication cup. There are sets and single cups, a matter of choice and option. Number 14. Cushion Gel Holder. A cushion with soft gel delicate surface, it's one of important tool to protect the watch case and no scratches leaves. It can be used either when removing movements from their cases and replacing them or when opening and closing watch cases. Number 15. Pressure Tester. Another tool for watches that can come in handy as a pressure tester. Of course, you want to check the water resistance of the watches you own and work with. This is particularly important for dive watches that are meant to come in contact with water. But it is also important for any watch. By pressure testing watches, you know if the gaskets are applied correctly, and if all of the other parts such as case back and crystal are sealed properly and don't let in dust or especially water. So, this is the last. Don't forget to subscribe for our channel. Thank you for the watching.